Six battles were fought in hospitals, specifically in those intensive care units. It's been two years since our cameras have been allowed in those hospitals. But tonight, in an exclusive interview, we go back in. News 5's Jesse Schultz sat down with health care heroes. He uh, Jesse, uh, they tell you they've seen a lot of heartbreak, a lot of hope, though, over these last two years. Yeah, for the doctors, nurses, and respiratory therapists I spoke to, the last two years feels like a blur, filled with some of the highest highs and lowest lows, a journey that they say in the end has made them stronger and more equipped to deal with anything thrown their way. You may not be able to tell. When you walk through our halls right now, they're empty. There's no supplies in the hallways. But the staff on the seventh floor medical ICU at University Hospital Seidman Center have a bond that can't be broken. Right now, it's 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 rather nice taking care of our our, our normal medical need patients. A bond that comes from going to battle. Inside these walls, it was very bad. These were some of the worst patients and the sickest patients that I've ever taken care of in my 30 years as a respiratory therapist. Emotions are, were a bit hard to control. And two years ago, they underestimated their opponent. Most did. I thought it's going to be exactly like what we had in the H1N1 pandemic. When it first started, I really thought it would probably just be a few months. But COVID-19 proved to be unlike anything the world had ever seen. And the sickest of sick patients were right here on the seventh floor ICU. There got to be a point when we're, it was hard to see a light at the end of the tunnel. Assistant nurse manager Jennifer Gebby says the days were long and the lows made some of them unbearable. To have that separation between the families and patients was one of the hardest parts for us. We brought in modalities like Zoom to do meetings with families and to do end of life care with them, but it's not the same of holding a gloved nurse's hand than it is your family member as you're dying. Those losses still weigh heavy on medical director Raina Hazel. The days when we lost patients, like particularly the young ones that you had to tell their families, uh, sorry, but your loved one has died, those were the hardest. But it's the wins that she also holds close. There was a lady who, um, <laughs> she thought I was her angel. <laughs> that uh, <laughs> Those are like very nice days, there's no question. Patients walking out of the hospital because they walked in to every shift. We all showed up to do our job every day, and that's what we were supposed to do. And while the battle scars of the past two years will stay with them. None of us that went through this are the same that we were two years ago. They say they are stronger and more equipped for whatever the future may hold. I'm not sure we are completely out of it, but I do believe we know a lot more now than, uh, than two years ago. Reporting in Cleveland, Jesse Schultz. News 5.